there's some kind of connection. I mean, you guys There's a gigantic connection. There's a bigger connection between a total stranger that's a stand-up comedian than someone that I've known my whole life in my family or a friend who's not a comedian. Right. It's like, you don't really, I don't really know them and they don't really know me. Yeah. But I can meet a comedian from Denmark and in five minutes, he and I are more bonded than, and I don't think that exists in a, a lot of other professions. What do you think that is? It, there's a brutality to comedy. <laughs> that if you survive it, yeah. you have become this creature. You become a creature. <laughs> that's a humanoid. <laughs> Not human, but humanoid. Do you think of yourselves as another species? Yeah. You do? Yeah. <laughs> and so one of the things that I've done in a number of shows is I asked the comedian, so how do you do when you're talking to people that are not comedians? Yeah. And most of them, you just see this pain look on their face like, I, I, it's hard, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. Does it start with a social awkwardness? Or is that just... I think so, yes. Yeah. It starts there. Yeah. And then you find this other pathway uh -huh. that, hey, I can relate to people this way. Yeah even though I'm struggling in most of the conventional ways. Yeah. What is it that drives comedians? The laugh. Simple as that. Simple as that. The moment of laughter is, an, uh, is just a pure, weightless moment of existence. Uh -huh. and, uh, just, and getting to that place where you can hear it, get it, give it, just, you just want to be around it. Mm -hmm. What does it take to be a successful comedian? You, you have to be a kind of ruthless person in some form. I don't a think relentless, yeah. ruthless person. Now that cannot be taught. That is, you can slap me night after night after night, I'm going to keep coming back. 